that is that when you tie off your device on your beaner, uh, obviously you want to tie it on the spine, not on the gate side. Okay? It's not the end of the world if you put your beaner in the wrong way. You just have to thread it the other side and, and do the mental imagery in your head which way to turn the knot. Okay? Could you say that again? I, I missed I'm, I'm going to explain. Okay. 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 It'll become clear when we do this. Okay. All right. So if you can see what I'm doing here, uh, actually I'm blaming myself here. All right. You're going to take the brake strand and pass it underneath the carabiner. Okay. A mule knot, you're going to twist the rope so that the brake strand is pinched. Okay. All right. This is, this is where it gets confusing. Okay. And then you pull the bite through. All right, that's a mule knot. And then an overhand above the device, and I'm hands free. Okay? All right, I'll do it again, and I'll do it with a slip knot. This is where it gets confusing. If you just pass the bite through under the beaner, another bite goes through the first bite, and that's a slip knot. Okay. A mule knot is basically the same thing, but there's a twist. So you can see where the brake strand is pinched by the other strand. And that gives it a little more friction, a little more bite. Okay. Alright. And that would and be and that would be hands free. There. Say again? You tied off. You tie it, yeah. An overhand. Yeah, you tie it with an overhand, okay? And you want to try to get that overhand back up as close to the device as possible. If I tied it up here, conceivably there could be some slippage until the knot comes down. And, and I'm basically hands free. And now I can do whatever I deem next, okay? So I'm trying to do